I mean, this problem we will start from cos pi by 4. Cos pi by 4 is 45 degrees, which is nothing but 1 by under root 2. So cos 40 pi by 4 can be written as cos 2 into pi by 8, which in turn can be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1. So if I take 1 that side, 2 cos square pi by 8 equals to 1 plus 1 by under root 2. That gives you 1 plus under root 2 divided by root 2. Now, if I multiply with root 2 numerator and denominator, we are going to get. So take 2 this side. So it's 4 cos square pi by 8 is 2 plus root 2. So we are getting basically 2 cos pi by 8 is under root 2 plus root 2. Is it clear? Now, 2 cos pi by 8. Again, you look it carefully. Cos pi by 8 can be written as cos 2 into pi by 16, which is root 2 plus root 2. Is it clear? So this can be written as again. 2 cos square pi by 16 minus 1 that equals to under root 2 plus under root 2. So we are getting what? 4 cos square pi by 16 equals to 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. Is it clear to all of you? Now, from here we can write 2 cos pi by 16 is under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. Again cos pi by 16 I am writing it as so we are getting it as what? 2 cos square pi by 32 minus 1 equals to under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. So now what we are getting? 4 cos, cos square pi by 32 will be equals to 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. Now if we take square root both sides we are getting 2 cos pi by 32 is equals to under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. That's it. Proved. Is it clear to all of you? Is it clear? Now, you try to remember this sum. Don't memorize the sum completely. But think, only remember that we have started the sum from this part. That is cos pi by 4. This is the approach of doing this sum. So you remember this approach, not the sum. Is it clear? Okay. Next part is, hence find the value of sine pi by 32. Hence means from this result, from this result you have to find out the value of sine pi by 32. So for that what we are doing, we got the value as 2 cos pi by 32 is this. So we can write sine pi by 32 is nothing but under root 1 minus sine square, I'm sorry, 1 minus cos square pi by 32. Now, cos pi by 32, I am writing its value. So, we are getting 1 minus 1 by 4, 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. Am I correct? So, now if I open the bracket, we are going to get what? 4 minus 2 minus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 divided by 4. So what we are getting? Outside it will be half under root 2 minus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2. That's it. Is it clear? So that is the value of sine pi by 32. Is it clear? Have you understood this problem clearly? In this problem let us start from left hand side. 
They have said to find out the value of tan 7 and half degrees. So this can be written as sine 15 by 2 by cos 15 by 2 degrees, right? Now, whenever this kind of thing comes, always remember you have to multiply with numerator and denominator in such a way with such a ratio such that your denominator gives you sine theta. That is, you have to make this thing as 2 sine theta cos theta and then you will replace it by sine theta. Always remember it. Here it is cos 15 by 2. Therefore, I will multiply numerator and denominator with 2 sine 15 by 2 degree to apply the formula 2 sine a cos a. Man lo ki if the denominator is in sine, then we will multiply numerator and denominator with 2 cos 15 by 2 degree in this case. Is it clear? So, your numerator is coming to what? 2 sine square, 2 sine square 15 by 2 degree which is cannot, which can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta which is 1 minus cos 15 degree and in the denominator we are getting sine 15 degree. We remember, can you remember the formula of, uh, I mean the values of cos 15 and sine 15? Cos 15 was root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 and sine 15 degrees root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. So in the numerator we are getting 2 root 2 minus root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 and multiplying numerator and denominator with root 3 plus 1. So in the numerator by simply multiplication we are getting divided by a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square which is 3 minus 1. We are getting 2 root 6, 2 root 3, 2 root 2 and this is 4 divided by 2. So we are getting what root 6 minus root 3 plus root 2 minus 2. Is it clear? Which is exactly what is given in our right hand side. Have you understood this problem? Clearly. So tan 7 and half degree is nothing but your root 6 minus root 3 plus root 2 minus 2. Okay. In this problem, we will start it from cot theta by 2 plus phi by 2. So cot a plus b, we are using the formula cot a cot b minus 1 divided by cot b plus cot a. Is it clear? Now you see, we have been given that cot theta by 2 is nothing but cot q phi by 2. So we are replacing it. Cot theta by 2 is replaced by cot q phi by 2. So that gives you cot to the power 4 phi by 2 minus 1 divided by cot phi by 2 plus cot cube phi by 2. Is it clear? Now, in the numerator we can write it as cot square phi by 2 minus 1 into cot square phi by 2 plus 1. In the denominator we are taking cot phi by 2 common. So we are left with cot square phi by 2 plus 1. This and this goes off. So we are left with cot square phi by 2 minus 1 by cot phi by 2. Let me convert the thing in terms of tan. So we are getting 1 minus tan square phi by 2 divided by tan phi by 2. Is it clear? So which can also be written as 1 by you can write 2 over here. So 2 tan phi by 2 divided by 1 minus tan square phi by 2. Now this thing becomes a formula 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta which is nothing but your tan 2 theta. So that gives you tan phi only. Now tan phi goes up so it will become tan phi. They have given us it's cot phi. Now they have given us that cot phi is nothing but cot alpha. 2 cot phi is nothing but cot alpha. So that is cot alpha. Is it clear? So cot of theta by 2 plus phi by 2 is nothing but your cot alpha. Therefore, we can write 
theta by 2 plus phi by 2 is your alpha. So that gives you theta plus phi is nothing but 2 alpha. Proved. Is it clear to everyone? Have you understood this problem clearly? Everybody?